Hello everyone. Today we are going to study formation of PN junction and operation of PN junction. After watching this video, students will be able to describe formation of PN junction that is how the PN junction is formed with the help of energy level diagram. Students will be able to explain the built in potential or what is the electric field developed at the junction and illustrate the charge flow through the junction or current flowing through the junction and rectifier equation. We know the electronic circuits. In the electronic circuits, there are passive components like resistors, capacitors, etc. and active components like diodes, transistors, etc. Now, PN junction diode is one of the most important and basic components of electronic circuits. So, what is the PN junction? When P type semiconductor is connected to N type semiconductor, we say that PN junction is formed. Now, remember that it is not ohmic contact or P type semiconductor and N type semiconductor, they do not just touch each other to form the ohmic contact. But when the junction is formed, there is transfer of charge carriers across the junction. If there is transfer of charge carriers, then and then only we say that junction is formed. PN junction is made using single semiconductor crystal. On one side of the crystal, it is doped with trivalent impurity to form P type semiconductor and on the other side, pentavalent impurity is added to form N type semiconductor and thus PN junction is formed. As I said, when the junction is formed, there is transfer of charge carriers. So there is transfer of majority carriers as well as minority carriers and that forms the diffusion and drift current. Now remember, diffusion current is due to concentration gradient and drift current is due to potential gradient. So now obviously diffusion current is due to which type of charge carriers and drift current is due to what type of charge carriers. Now see this is the PN junction. <coughs> see this is the P side. On P side there are more number of holes. So there is higher concentration of holes on P side. So we can say that the concentration of holes decreases in this direction from P to N. On N side, there is higher concentration of electrons. So we can say that electron concentration decreases in this side and thus there is concentration gradient. Just I told you that Due to concentration gradient, there is diffusion current. So, of course, diffusion current is due to majority carriers. Now, when the electrons from N and holes from P cross the junction, at the junction, they combine or we say there is recombination of electrons and holes. So, at the junction, on P side, there is layer of negative ions it is shown here there is layer of negative ions and on p side sorry on n side there is layer of positive ions it is shown in the diagram and see in this region there is recombination of electrons and holes and therefore we call it as a free charge region this region is free of charge region and this total we call as a space charge region on this side there is negative ions on this side there is positive ions now see here this positive ion layer it repels the holes from p and this negative charged ions repel the electrons from n and so the potential hill or potential barrier is developed at the junction and that we call as a built-in potential or junction potential built in potential or junction potential and this junction potential it prevents further diffusion of majority carriers 
वंस अगेन आई रिपीट माई स्टेटमेंट दिस पोटेंशियल बैरियर और बिल्ट इन पोटेंशियल प्रिवेंट्स फर्दर मोशन ऑफ मेजोरिटी कैरियर्स और डिफ्यूजन करेंट नौ दिस पॉजिटिव आयोन लेयर ऑन एन साइड दिस पॉजिटिव आयोन लेयर ऑन एन साइड इट एट्रैक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम पी एंड दिस निगेटिव आयोन्स एट्रैक्ट होल्स फ्रॉम एन सो डज इट मीन द एट्रैक्ट माइनॉरिटी कैरियर्स and due to this junction potential there is flow of minority carriers there is flow of minority carriers and this we call as drift current this we call as drift current so okay i hope you understand diffusion current is due to majority carriers and drift current is due to minority carriers so this is the formation of pn junction and how the junction potential is formed in the pn junction now we discuss or we derive equation for built in potential now when the junction is formed there is flow of majority carriers or diffusion of majority carriers okay so electrons from n cross the junction and enter the p region electrons from n cross the junction and enter the p region and elect holes from p cross the junction and enter the n region so due to this motion of electrons and holes see electrons enter p region so energy level on p side rises and holes enter the n region holes enter the n region and therefore energy level on n side drops so there is bending of energy levels as shown in the diagram now this diffusion of majority carriers and drift of minority carriers continues unless and until this fermi level is be it becomes equal on both sides we know the position of fermi level on p and n side on n side there is near the conduction band on p side it is near the valence band so on p side it rises on n side it drops and it becomes equal in equilibrium okay so this is the energy level diagram for pn junction okay now the electron concentration in conduction band on n side i will write here electron concentration in conduction band of n side in conduction band of n side means this side okay it depends on this portion this region okay this is the fermi level and this is the conduction band remember this is the conduction band and this is the fermi level so it depends on this difference so what is this difference see this total is eg this total is eg so do we say it is eg minus ef it is eg minus ef so we write it here nn is equal to nc nc is the energy levels number of energy levels in conduction band exponential minus eg minus ef by kt minus eg minus ef by kt okay now out of this electrons only the fraction of electrons can cross the junction and enter the barrier enter the p region now what is electron concentration on n side p side electron concentration on p side okay we write it as np now remember this n means electron and suffix p means p tag is equal to again nc exponential okay now we want this region remember we want this region okay now see this region it is written here e1 it is written here even this region is even but you see in this diagram is it eg minus ef means this region plus this region i will draw here again see here it is total this it is total this so this region we know eg minus ef plus ev0 this region eg minus ef plus ev0 so i will write it here now minus eg plus ev0 minus ef 
by kt okay is it clear see this is nn means electron concentration on n side and np means electron concentration on p side now we take the ratio we take the ratio nn upon np now nc nc will get cancelled exponential minus eg minus ef by kt upon exponential minus eg plus ev0 minus ef by kt now we we'll directly write here exponential ev0 upon kt ev0 upon kt now taking log on both sides we get v0 is equal to kt upon e ln nn upon np where k is boltzmann constant and t is temperature k is boltzmann constant and t is temperature so this is the expression for built in potential okay now can we write it like this i will just write it like this it is kt upon e ln nn pp upon np pp just we multiply and divide by pp multiply and divide by pp notice pp it is the whole concentration on p side now if we assume that the all the impurity atoms ionize if we assume that all the impurity atoms are ionized then obviously nn is equal to nd that is donor concentration is equal to number of electrons and npp is equal to na acceptor concentration is equal to number of holes and by law of mass action that we have studied in band theory of solids by law of mass action product of majority carriers and product of minority carriers is equal to n i square and therefore we get v0 we get v0 is equal to k t upon e ln n d n a upon n i square this is the equation for built in potential